Hi guys, this is O Level Chemistry, paper 12, June 2018, question 11. The relative molecular mass of a compound is 166. What is the possible molecular formula of this compound? So we need to calculate the MR of each of these compounds. So let's do that. We have four carbon atoms, so 12 fours are 48. We have got three hydrogen atoms and two oxygen, so 16 twos are 32. So in total, we are getting an MR of 83. Next. Here we have six carbon atoms. So six twelves are seventy-two plus four hydrogen atoms and sixteen fours are sixty-four for the mass of four oxygen atoms. The total mass here comes to one forty. In the third compound, we've got six carbon atoms. So six twelves are seventy-two, eight hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. So sixteen twos are thirty-two. So an MR of hundred and twelve in total. And the last compound, we've got eight carbon atoms, so eight twelves are 96. We've got six hydrogen atoms and four oxygen atoms having a mass of 16 into four is 64, giving us a total of 166. And this is the compound that was asked in the question, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 12. A mass of 63 grams of potassium manganate 7 is needed for the complete oxidation of 23 grams of ethanol under acidic conditions. How many moles of ethanol can be completely oxidized by one mole of potassium manganate 7 under these conditions? Okay, so 63 grams is required for potassium manganate 7. Potassium manganate 7 has potassium in it which has a mass of 39. Then we have got four oxygen atoms with the mass of 16 into 4 giving us 64 and we have got manganese with a mass of 55 giving us an MR of 158 so 63 divided by 158 gives us a value of 0 0.399 moles of KMNO4 now a similar calculation for C2H5OH, we've got 23 grams of C2H5OH upon its MR, which is 12 to the 24 plus 6 plus 16, giving us a total of 46. So this is equal to 0 0.5 moles of ethanol. So now we perform our calculation. 0 0.399 moles would give us 0 0.5 moles of ethanol. Therefore, one mole of potassium manganate will give us, this would become 1 upon 0 0.399 into 0 0.5, which is equal to 1.25 moles of ethanol. Since we are getting the answer as 1.25 moles, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 13. The diagram shows an electrolysis experiment using inert electrodes. What could be liquid, liquid Y be? So liquid Y is there as the electrolyte and the gases produced are in the ratio 2 is to 1. So aqueous copper sulfate. Aqueous copper sulfate will produce copper at the cathode and oxygen at the anode. So only one gas is produced. Concentrated aqueous sodium chloride would produce hydrogen at the cathode and fluorine at the anode, but in the ratio of 1 is to 1, not 2 is to 1. In dilute sulfuric acid, we have production of hydrogen and oxygen gas. Hydrogen would be produced in twice the quantity the oxygen will. So, hydrogen will be the one with the ratio 2 and oxygen will be the one with the ratio of 1. So, dilute sulfuric acid is correct. And then we have ethanol. Ethanol will not produce uh, H2 gas and O2 gas in the ratio 2 is to 1. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C.
another reason ethanol will not be the correct answer is because ethanol will not have any ions present in it which will undergo oxidation or reduction at the anode and cathode respectively question 14 magnesium can be produced by the electrolysis of molten magnesium chloride what are the products formed at the anode and at the cathode during the electrolysis of molten magnesium chloride since it is molten we will have magnesium ions being produced at the cathode because mg2 positive will accept two electrons producing magnesium metal this will happen at the cathode and at the anode we would have two moles of chloride ions giving off two moles of electrons and forming chlorine gas so we have chlorine at the anode eliminating option c and d and we have magnesium at the cathode eliminating option a making option b the correct option for this question question 15 the diagram shows apparatus that can be used to extract aluminum from its ore what are j k and l j are electrodes and since the liquid metal is settling at the bottom these are anodes or the positive electrodes so j has to be a positive electrode anode so options a and b have been eliminated k is the electrolyte and the electrolyte is bauxite dissolved in cryolite so bauxite is aluminum oxide so c says aluminum oxide only and d says aluminum oxide plus cryolite d is correct because aluminum oxide is dissolved in cryolite and option c has been eliminated and finally the liquid metal l is aluminum making option d the correct option for this question question 16 a reaction is exothermic which diagram shows the correct energy profile diagram for the reaction and the correct enthalpy change okay so options a and b have the energy profile diagram which is endothermic so a and b have been eliminated c and d both have the exothermic energy profile diagram which is required now in c since it is exothermic energy is released however the arrow for the delta h is being pointed upwards showing that energy is taken in so this makes it incorrect whereas in d the arrow is pointing downwards which shows energy is being released when converting from reaction to product which is correct making option d the correct option for this question question 17 which fraction of petroleum crude oil is used as a fuel in aircraft engines bitumen bitumen is made in is used in road making naphtha is used in the chemical industry it is cracked to obtain other useful fractions paraffin or kerosene is used in aircrafts as fuel and petrol gasoline is used as fuel in cars in the internal combustion engine so the correct option for this question is option c question 18 the equation for photosynthesis is shown six carbon dioxide plus six moles of hard, uh, water gives six moles of oxygen gas and glucose which statement about photosynthesis is correct it has a negative enthalpy change it has a positive enthalpy change energy would be required in photosynthesizing it is catalyzed by the presence of yeast no it is catalyzed by the presence of chlorophyll the products of photosynthesis are oxygen and starch no that is oxygen and glucose and it occurs in green leaves yes photosynthesis does take place in green leaves making option d the correct option for this question Question 19. Compound X reacts with an acid to produce sulfur dioxide gas. A sample of X is placed in a flask and acid is added. The sulfur dioxide produced is collected and its volume is measured at 
various time. A graph of the result is plotted. Which statement about this experiment is correct? The gas can be collected by displacing water from a magic cylinder. No, SO2 is a soluble gas. It would react with water producing H2SO3, which is known as sulfurous acid. B, the mass of the reaction flask and its contents decreases as the reaction proceeds. Yes, because SO2 is given off. C, the rate of reaction increases as time increases. No, the rate of reaction would decrease because reactants are used up. And D, the reaction is still proceeding after 8 minutes. After 5 minutes, as you can see, a plateau region has been reached, which means reaction has been completed at 5 minutes. This makes option B the correct option for this question. Question 20. Which reactions involve oxidation and reduction? Chlorine gas reacting with aqueous potassium iodide? Yes, chlorine gas will be converted into KCl and iodide ions will be converted into I2, thus making it a redox reaction. Next, dilute sulfuric acid reacting with magnesium? Yes, magnesium will be oxidized to MgSO4, whereas H positive ions will be reduced to hydrogen gas. And next, dilute hydrochloric acid reacting with aqueous sodium hydroxide. This is the reaction between an acid and a base. It is known as a neutralization reaction and is not a redox reaction. Since reactions 1 and 2 are correct, option B is the correct option for this question.